Hey there, Improv Tipsers. Welcome back to Improv Tips, where I and some of the best improvisers in the world give you improv tips and advice to make you a better, more confident, and happier improviser wherever you are in your improv journey. I am, as always, your host, Paul Valancourt. Let's begin. Today's guest tipper is Jordan Black. Jordan is a fantastic improviser, among many other things. He has been a writer on SNL, among other things. He's been an actor on Key and Peel and Community, among other things. He has done voices on South Park, among other things. And he is the founder of the long-running improv show, The Black Version, among other things. He, just, he does it all, man. He do, just does it all. And I know him personally from getting to play with him in the Crazy Uncle Joe show at the Grounds. I've talked about that a little bit before when I talked to Stephanie, ding, ding, and I when I talked to uh, Brian, ding, ding. And when I talked to Navaris, ding, ding. All these fantastic players have been so fun and so welcoming to play with um, uh, in, in the Crazy Uncle Joe show. Now, Jordan's tip today is very simple. It goes all the way back to basics about listening. But I do think it's really interesting to listen and hear it from him about not of not the very simple definition, but the bigger, broader definition of how he views and uses listening in the shows. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you are enjoying the improv tips, please consider subscribing so you get the improv tips as they come out. And also please consider liking this video and giving a comment down below. Like, what do you think of Jordan's tip? What is the big lesson that you take away from it? What do you use to listen more or better or harder? Or what, what exercises do you have in mind or what techniques do you use? Let us know in the comments down below. Let's make this a resource for everybody. All right. But right now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy Jordan Black. Hey guys, my improv tip, my number one improv tip would be listening. There's a lot of different rules to improv, prob, different things that help us when we're improvising. But for me, my saving grace has always been listening. So that's whether I'm on stage performing, whether I'm in a classroom, I'm listening to either the audience suggestion or what the teacher is suggesting or what get what exercise the teacher is teaching. I'm trying to listen so that I can have that strong foundation that I can then build my improv scene off of. And that really requires really good listening so that you don't get into the scene and find yourself lost. Once you've built that strong foundation based on what you're hearing initially from either the audience or the teacher, then you can build from there with your scene partner or scene partners. Uh, I always make sure that whatever I'm responding to is in response to whatever my scene partner has just said to me or done because I'm not only listening with my ears, I'm also listening with my eyes, looking at their emotions, looking at their gestures and whatever, fa whatever their face is doing, I'm going to respond to these things. I'm looking at all these different things for something that I can respond to. Even if my scene partner gives me nothing, I can respond to that. You know, if I'm up there with the scene partner who doesn't seem to be giving me anything, then my, my character will decide that that is an issue. I could say something like, oh, my God, you're like so robotic today. What's your problem? Or, you know what? I finally feel like you're listening. Whatever it is, like you can really react to whatever your scene partner is giving you. So then it takes the onus off of you to actually have to come up with something in an improv scene because you're only reacting to what you're being given. And so that requires super aggressive listening. And that has always um, done well for me. And I hope that this tip does well for you. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.